They are little known specks of land at the northwestern end of the island chain called Hawaii. Few places on earth are so remote or so wild. On a remarkable 1,200 mile expedition, Jean Michel Cousteau leads his team to a corner of the planet where the ancient Pacific still thrives. Surrounded by great ocean travelers, they discover places and species lost in isolation and witness life and death encounters. Travel with a new kind of exploration team to one of the world's farthest islands. It's Jean-Michel Cousteau, Ocean Adventures. Then, evidence of something more sinister running aground here. In the geological record, if someone came back 10,000 years from now, there's gonna be just a very thick layer in the sediments that's just plastic. Right. When uh, we found out that not only the uh, island is uh, covered with debris, which comes from the open ocean, but uh, those debris, which uh, we discard uh, everywhere, uh, is being picked up by uh, birds who uh, collect them because they are uh, eggs, fish eggs usually, that have been laid on these pieces of plastic. And the parents brings it back to the island and feed their chicks. Lighters coming from all over the world, children toothbrush, adults, mascara. We have toys. We have soldiers. We have vials with still stuff in it. That went into a bird and back into another bird. Nature can take a lot of punishment. These creatures here are doing unbelievably well when you think what they have to put up with. And at the same time, perhaps too much is too much. Many environmentalists have criticized President Bush, but tonight nearly all of them are thrilled about his decision to make one of the most spectacular places on earth, a chain of Hawaiian islands, a new national monument, giving them extraordinary protection for years to come. I want to congratulate President Obama for expanding the largest marine protected area on the planet. It's announcements like this that makes me more excited than ever for the future of ocean protection. But much more has to be done, and we need to continue to join forces for stronger ocean protection. The oceans are a commons with no clear boundaries. Thankfully, the world is finally awakening to the urgency of the importance of ocean health and its connection to the quality of our lives. This awareness means that all of us, governments, industries, businesses, and individuals have the opportunity to act responsibly for the environment so we can look in the eyes of a four-year-old and say, we are doing everything we can to protect our blue ocean. <laughs>